Today you're going to create a Peter Max inspired heart for your art to remember project. Go ahead and write your name and your class code on the back. Circle your class code and flip it over. Now you'll line up your ruler on each side of the page and draw a line on the inside to create each side of the four sides of the frame. Once you have all four sides of the frame, you can use a heart tracer or freehand draw a heart in the center of your paper. I am freehand drawing, but I also am going to go back and fix this side where the heart was a little bit lopsided. Once you get your heart the way you want it, you can trade out your pencil for a black permanent marker. We're going to pretend like our pencil line is a train track and our permanent marker is trying to stay on that track right on top of all the pencil lines. Drawing these lines in permanent marker will just help all of the parts of your drawing really stand out in your final piece. Now that we have all of our lines traced in permanent marker, we're going to use tempera cakes to paint. We're going to start with either a warm or cool color. So I'm choosing purple, which is a cool color, and I'm going to activate the tempera cake with water, and I'm tracing the edges of the heart as I go so that I stay inside my marker lines. And then when I notice the brush strokes getting fuzzy, I get more water and more paint. And I trace the outside and fill in the inside. You can always go back and add darker paint with more water and temper cakes. I'm going to gently tap my brush in the water and let some water drip off before I switch colors. It's really important to do that before you switch to yellow so that you don't get dark colors in the yellow. I'm choosing a warm color for the background space outside of the heart. So if you choose a cool color for your heart, then you want to choose a warm color around the heart. If you chose a warm color like red or orange or yellow to paint your heart, then you'll choose a cool color like blue or purple or green around the heart. Notice again how I am painting around the border of the space then filling it in with paint. Remember no white space. I want to cover all of that white paper. So now that I painted with a warm color around the heart, I'm going to choose another cool color for my border space. I'm going to paint this side with blue. You do not have to do your warm and cool colors exactly the way I did. I started with a cool color and then a warm, then a cool. You could start with a warm color and then do a cool color and another warm color for your border. I'm choosing to paint the larger rectangular shapes all in blue and then I'm going to fill in the small squares in the corners with another cool color. You get to make lots of your own choices in this art piece, but we are practicing balance of color by balancing out the warm and cool colors by alternating them. I'm going to paint the corner squares of 
the border with green. See how I activate the paint by adding more and more water so that I get a bright and vibrant color on my paper. Next, we are going to add texture and lines and designs with construction paper crayons. And don't forget to write your name inside the border so that everyone can see who the artist is.